What is up, Cog Squad? We're going to try to attempt to put the siding on this gigantic coop. Previously on the Cog Blog. We're fixing to try to finish up this brooder. I mean, you could hold a pole. Screw a light bulb in. Is there anything you can do? Hand me the squirrely bracket. That's Cog Kill lingo right there. We don't squirrely know, bracket? We don't know what none of this stuff's called. It's a squirrely bracket. What is up, guys? Jason over here at Cock Hill. Me and Mrs. Cock Hill are fixing to get started back on this chicken coop and try to get that exterior side nut. At least that's our plan. Hey, Peaches. Peaches. Now, I'm not saying you need to worry about your job position here, but I'm just telling you, Rod is doing an excellent job supervising this coop build. And I'm just throwing that out there. Just throwing it out there, okay? Well, hello, Miss Angora. What are you watching? Nothing. Wind's blowing this morning. That's unusual. Tag team back again. What's up, TNT boys? What's up, brother? Boom! Shakalaka. Fix and get y'all fixed up, huh? Yeah. Ozella. Where's JP? Ah, there's JP. JP! What are you doing? Rod is no longer staying in the girl's goat pen. I don't know what's going on with all that. Y'all want some hay? Yeah. yeah! Come on, TNT boys. Jump up. I actually didn't get knocked down and my camera didn't get tore up. Maybe they're becoming more civil. I was wrong about Jet. I told y'all the a week or two ago the Jet was two. I was just informed Jet is three. If you don't know about Jet, Jet is missing his bottom beak. That's how we got him. So the you know we gotta feed Jet kind of like this. Cause he has to turn his head sideways and use his upper beak to get feed because his bottom beak is really it's really 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 short oh did my little speech this morning get you a little worried i see you coming down here don't try to take rod out now <laughs> big baby all right that's i think you're right start on the back get it lined up i bring the siding <laughs> you do that. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a ledge up to help us handle this siding. Okay. Alright, you go get the siding and I'll get okay. the screws. Let's see how this works, right? <laughs> I do wanna give me some screws though. Camera, but I think we're gonna have to come right through here with it. If you missed our last video, we just put the roof joist on here. We got some more roofing we got to do, but today we're going to try to get the siding put on. He helped with the rafters, and now he's helping with the uh, siding. Rod, you're a good man. He is a good man. Why don't you go get to your daddy his uh, battery for his drill so he can get to work. Alright, I gotta squat my hands yeah, around. Me too. Ready? Ready. Yeah, it looks good, fit. Okay. What does it hit down there? It hits fine. Okay. Dead center of the two buckles. Good, good, good. That's what we call it. Come okay. on with it. We know what we're doing. Yeah. This ain't our first rodeo. We've uh -huh. been putting up side my whole it. life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we two down, we only have four to go on this back side. Woo! I got a splinter up under my darn fingernail. Oh, no, that hurts. I do want to level this one. Okay. I think it looks wonderful. Don't you? Alrighty. Back wall done. What we're going to do on the side is put a full piece 
then a half a piece, and then the other upper half will be hardware cloth, fencing, something. Chicken, we won't, I don't think we're going to do chicken wire, are we? Not doing chicken wire. We really want one by two, but we're not going to go all the way around with siding. Just one piece here, then half a piece. It's going to be half a piece all the way across the front, and that side will match this side. Our main thing here in central Alabama is ventilation, ventilation, ventilation. Our winters aren't that tough that it needs to be fully enclosed. Rod, you been down in the creek skinny dipping? Right oh. Come here, buddy. Maybe that's where he goes on his lunch hour. <laughs> goes and sits by the creek. Goes and sits by the creek. That's what I'd like to do, Rod. Go sit by the creek. Ready? Ready. What do you think, Rod? What do you think, buddy? Is it Rod approved? He sure is a handsome young man. He is very handsome. Come up just right there. That scare him to death. This is a lot easier to deal with. Man, you, a full piece. you ain't telling no lie. <laughs> I need to screw it at the top. Huh? I gotta screw it at the top. That big piece. Was it? Mm -mm. It's not hanging off, right? No. Nope. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Peaches, peaches. We're trying to figure out. Where we want the door for the coop. Do you think you come over here and help us out? No, she's just going to lay in the hydrangeas. She looks like she got a little sunburn. <laughs> she may have. It's been hot. Where's the siding going to go? It has to get, well, I'm going to put another 2 by 4 here. So if we trim it out. Put it from the inside. Don't you think? Right here. Four. That's your wall where your bantams are going to be on this side, and big chickens are going to be over here. This is the what? This is the last one. The last piece of satin. And it is getting heavier as the day goes on. But he just spilled it and he ain't drinking what he spilled. All right, boo-boo. Sideways. <laughs> Woo-wee! 28. This is a blind for people that can't dance. So all you gotta do is like this, and they think you can dance, but you really can't. <laughs> do it. Come here, you can dance. Anybody can. Look, I got a dancer. <laughs> Jason. Can I go dance behind the curtain? Still not through with the side, and we gotta come back and run some two by fours in between the seams on the other side. But, hey, it's pretty much yeah. done. <laughs> now look at the inside of this booger. It is pretty massive. Jet, you wanna go to the creek? So Jet's never been to the creek, and so we're about to take him. He's a spitting cobra. He does look like a cobra. If you follow along, you saw me in a video a week, about a week ago, I think, I was talking about Jet, who is a goose that we've had for three years now. He hangs out with the geese and peaches, but when the geese go down to the creek, and they go down here all the time, Jet does not go. And we think he's just a little scared about walking down here because he absolutely loves water. So today, we are Jet's Uber today, and we're going to take Jet down here to the creek for the very first time. Oh my ah! Well, he didn't stay very long. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna bring his friends back. Maybe he's gonna go tell everybody he finally made it down to the creek. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. 
Which one of y'all is pregnant? Moosey said, not me. You see her? Yeah. <clears throat> We're feeling confident that Bo's pregnant. The black Nigerian dwarf. We're Come not peek. quite for sure about Bootsy, though. Are you pregnant? Not even a nod. Not even a nod. If you want to know what it's like living on a family farm and laughing and having a good time, then give us a follow and hit the subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification button. That will let you know when we post a new video. And as always, y'all be good.